you guys want to add me on Instagram, just click the link below. you with another look. I actually decided to do something different. I did a uh, how to do makeup on someone else. This is my beautiful friend Suzanne here. Hi. <laughs> so I did a natural bridal look on her. Um, I didn't want to go too crazy with my first look. So let me know what you guys think. If you want me to do more of like a smoky eye, I can do that next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know the drill. Subscribe and just comment if you do like something like this because I can Keep them coming. Guys, if you want to add me on Instagram, the name's right here. Enjoy the video. <laughs> you want to say bye? Goodbye. <laughs> I can't. I'm just, bye, bitches. This is a character. Bougie is a character. You'll learn that. <laughs> She's a keeper. Hey beauties, so I'm starting off with Mario Badescu Facial Spray and then I'm going right into MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Spiked. I did prep her skin beforehand. I used a Rich Nourishing Mask by Bio Pacific and I used a Mint Julep Mask that I showed you in my skincare video. When I do my client's brows, I like to do it the same way that I do my brows. I just like to follow all the hairs. I guess I see the things that they be wishing on me I hope I got some sisters that I live me They gon' tell the story she was good Now I'm taking an eyebrow spoolie and just making sure that everything blends I hope back sometimes I won't go yeah. Since this is a bridal look, I am taking a waterproof brow set just to make sure that the brows don't move Now I'm taking MAC Painterly Pot and Layin' Low just to prep the eyes Make sure that nobody is still. I always start with MAC Soft Brown whenever I have a client with fair to medium skin and when I have a client with dark or darker skin I usually start with Saddle or Swiss Chocolate I just think they are amazing transition colors For blending I like to blend back and forth and in windshield wiper motions just to make sure that everything's blended Now I'm taking my ride or die eyeshadow. This is MAC Saddle. I use this on all of my tutorials when I do it on myself. So I dropped the brush here, but clearly my girl's not worried because she cheers to it. We ain't worried about nothing. Don't worry, I have a clean brush now. <laughs> Next, this is Makeup Geek Coco Bear. I really like Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They are very pigmented and they blend really well. Yeah. When you want to create that really nice darkened crease, you want to just keep adding layers of eyeshadow and you see that I'm using a smaller brush just to really get in there. Now I'm taking a MAC 224 brush and just blending everything out, making sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm going right into Kitten for all over her lid with a flat brush. And then you'll see that I take a Stila Kitten Magnetic eyeshadow just to make it a little more glittery. Michael, Donna, G -O -D, yeah, wait, wait, wait. 
go hard on Sasaji, yeah, we. I make sure that nobody is still yeah. And the last eyeshadow that I'm taking is MAC Blackberry. This is really going to get in the crease and just make it a little bit darker. said you would love me, I tell him only partly. I only love my bed and my mama, I'm sorry. Very good, I even got it tatted on me. She's 81, the dope and crashes to the party. Michael Tan is G-O-D, yeah, wait, yeah. I go hard on Sasa G, yeah, wait. Make sure that nobody gets yeah. still And I'm just going back and forth with Blackberry and Kitten to make sure that it's a seamless blend between the two. To clean up, I'm taking a small shader brush and I'm taking MAC Pro Eye Makeup Remover and just cleaning under her eyes and making that line sharper. I never make you feel like that Cause I love me enough for the both of us Yeah, yeah, yeah This is what the eyes look like so far. To soften that line that I created with the Q-tip and the brush, I'm just blending it out. And now I'm just combing through her lashes because she does have lash extensions. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cut on me. You know how I like it when you loving on me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. To prime her face, we're using Smashbox Pore Erase Primer. And to give her a glow from within, I'm using Marc Jacobs Dew Drops and Do You. This is so nice. It gives a really nice natural highlight. This is the foundation palette that I like to use on all of my clients. This is the RCMA palette and they have two versions of this palette. I love them both. They feel really lightweight on the skin. To set the foundation, I'm taking MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC37. For concealer, I'm using the NYX Concealer Palette in the color medium. And I'm just blending both of those two colors just to give her a nice highlight. To blend it out, I'm taking a dual fiber brush. Also to make sure it's blended, I go in with a sponge with no additional product on it just to make sure that it's really pressed into the skin. This is my holy grail. I love this setting powder. This is Laura Mercier setting powder. I use it for myself, my clients. It does not move, crease, budge. It is amazing. I'm just continuing to put concealer on her nose, her chin, her lip, and her forehead, and I'm gonna set that as well. This is my favorite part. I go so ham with contour, but I make sure that I blend it out. Um, this is LA Girl uh, face powder, but I'm using it as a contour since she is a little bit darker because of her tan.
For contouring, you just want to remember the 3E e rule. So that is forehead, cheekbone, chin bone, jawline, jawline. What's a chin bone? <laughs> jawline, and then the same on the other side. And now I'm just contouring her nose with a small tapered brush. Sorry the lighting gets a little crazy. I did just get new light boxes and I'm still trying to work with them. Sometimes I won't I'm taking the same face powder that I used for her contour just to bronze her up a little bit more. This is my other favorite part. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Highlighter in Double Bleam. So, so pretty. And since we did highlight before with the Marc Jacob, I'm just kind of lightly dusting it on her. I'm just blending out the contour that I did and I'm adding MAC Warm Soul Blush, just very lightly. I always continue my shadows on the bottom. I'm just doing the same as I did before on top. I'm taking Soft Brown, Saddle, Blackberry, and then I'm going to put Kitten in the inner corner. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And in reality, if this was a bride, I would use waterproof mascara. But since she's not a real bride, I'm just using regular mascara. Hope I got some sisters that I me. They gon' tell the story she was different. For the lip, I decided to mix two Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I did Androgyny and Celebrity Skin, and it just gives her a nice neutral lip, but there's still some of that pink in there. And to give her more of a plush lip look, I'm using MAC Drip Down Lip Liner. To complete the look, I am setting her with Urban Decay All Nighter. And our beautiful bride is all done and ready to get married. If you guys like this look, just let me know in the comments below and what you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. And there is Suzanne's Instagram, so don't forget to add her. Bye beauties!